Hi, welcome to the first video tutorial on iOS development. In this tutorial, we are going to see about the ID that we are going to use for writing iPhone apps and uh, iPad apps. So, Xcode is the ID that we will be using and the language that is used for writing iPhone and iPad apps is called Objective-C. You can download and install Xcode by visiting developer.apple.com slash Xcode. I have already installed Xcode in my machine. So, I am just going to launch Xcode. And this is the welcome screen which you see in Xcode. So, let me just create a new Xcode project and this is the start screen which which shows you I mean which gives you the option to choose a template for your project since we are going to use this as a very for a explanation of xcode project so we will go for a very simple project and uh, let's go for the single view application So I have selected the project and I am clicking next. Now enter the name of the project. So let's say we are going to print welcome message. So let's keep the project name as welcome message. And in the organization name, you can either enter the author's name or your company's name. And similarly, the company's identifier. So it can be your preferred uh, uh, value. And class prefix. So this will be added uh, as part of your class, so you can uh, enter any two letter text. Now which is the target device? So you are writing app for which device, whether it is going to be iPhone or iPad or both. So that will be decided by the value which you select in this uh, for the device list box. So, in our case, we are going with iPhone. So after selecting the required values, click next. Now, uh, I'll choose a select a folder where you want to save this uh, project. So let's say I'm going to go for a new project. And let me say, let me say this as welcome message. So your project files will be created under this folder. Oh, so there are certain files which gets automatic automatically created, like the app delegate, the main storyboard, the view controller. Dot h view controller. Dot m, and if you expand support files, you have certain files listed here. So this is the main dot m is the uh, class which gets called when you execute this project and th this in turn gets called I mean, this in turn invokes the app delegate. Now let's see the different parts in Xcode. So on the left hand side you see where you, you can see the project files is known as the navigation bar uh, navigate navigator and uh, this provides various options for navigating with for navigating or searching the files and now in the latest ios file you can also have uh, you also have the test navigator and on the right hand side it's called the utility area so the the, the top box so let's say now this is called the inspector bar inspector selected bar and the bottom uh, on the right hand side bottom area it, it's known as the library bar. so you have the different uh, option like the template library and then you have the uh, code snippet library 
and then object library and media library. The center portion is called the editor area where you can uh, edit your code, the dot m and the, the implementation on the header files. And this bottom area is known as the debug area. So your uh, for debugging and for console uh, messages, all those things will be printed here. So now if you want to design your user interface, then you need to be using the main storyboard. So this is where you you'll be designing your user interface. So let's say now uh, in our case we want to just display a message in a label. So we are going to display welcome message. So let's search for label control. Let's pick label control from the object library and we are going to drag and place it on your view controller. So let's using the inspector uh, so attribute inspector so we are going to provide the text so let's say uh, welcome to iOS development since our text is too big we need to drag and resize our label so that the full text is displayed and you can just center your text uh, sorry the label now, apart from the storyboard in the support files we also have one configuration files that we should be aware of it's called the info.plist this configuration file gets bundled with your app by right, submitting to the app store Now, using the toolbar, you can select whether you want to execute this project in, in a device or whether you want to use any iOS simulator. So let's say, uh, I mean, I want to use the iPhone Retina 4 and 64-bit simulator. So I'm just going to select this. And using this build and then run option, I'm going to run this project compile this project and then use the simulator to for executing this project. So now you should be able to see the welcome message. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. In the next tutorial we will see some more about the some of the basic controls and the objective and the language used for developing iOS app. Thank you.